Today we're opening over $500 in loose booster packs. What's up guys, we're back with another video. Today we have 24 packs that we got out of that pack collection that we bought a few weeks ago. These are some pretty nice packs. There's some first edition, some unlimited, some really good stuff like Stardust Overdrive. We got Tactical Evolution. This is gonna be a pretty crazy opening, but before we hop into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have a couple of original Metal Raiders Unlimited and then a Forbidden Legacy Secret Rare Dark Magician. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you wanna see out of these packs or your favorite set out of these. There's a lot of different ones. I decided to go with the variety because last time we did that variety with those OTS packs you guys really liked that video go check it out if you haven't seen it yet so we're going to try this with some GX and some 5D stuff all right let's get into this guys I have some most I have like four but there's a couple where we only had two like Phantom Darkness and stuff like that so we're going to start off with Cyberdark Impact this is probably the least exciting because we have opened a ton of this on the channel it's not that hard to get but there's still some pretty good cards in here that we could pull I'm assuming these are retail packs so we probably can't get the ulti Cyberdark Dragon we could still get the ultra though that would be pretty cool so I, I want to see See what we pull from these i don't know what kind of value we're gonna get it's probably gonna be pretty low so we're gonna have a total wow. on the screen of like how much uh these packs end up getting us probably not gonna be too much but if we pull a big ghost ray or something it could happen counter cleaner with the alert queen level three barrier statue of Stormwinds. this was like a three dollar card but i think it got a reprint man beast of aries accumulated fortune statue of the inferno chain strike and we have a rampaging rhino starting it off with a rampaging rare next pack this is the fun part it's like what do i open next you know there's so many different you know cards we can open photon shockwave first edition can we get that galaxy eyes photon i still don't have that for my binder so if we could pull the ghost rare that would be pretty amazing i don't know if it's four or not let's do wind up warrior the zen mayark prior of the ice barrier naturia marin monster slots shark stickers fiery fervor and we have a uh, gishki beast okay wait is it after or before i think there's a, a foil and a rare in these if you do get something so not sure we'll have to figure that one out as we go we have stardust overdrive two of them are first edition two are unlimited so we're going to start off with an unlimited pack we'll save the first editions for later in the video make sure you guys hang around for those because these uh the majestic star someone was going to sell me one if you were the channel the other day he's like hey i got one if you need one for your binder i'm like sure and then he's like 750 for it i'm like oh my gosh it's that expensive now so yeah i didn't buy it because i was like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna maybe try and pull it but 750 dollars for the first edition ghost rare out of this set it's insane so if we can pull that it'd be pretty big gemini counter and that was like near mint that's not like mint or anything ritual of grace the ground spider spider egg so many spiders in the set the reptilian medusa shine palace okay wait i don't know what the pack trick's gonna be on this one either the shine palace equip only to a light monster this just it looks like tomb world but it's just a light equip spell it's so weird it's very confusing also why is this in that set why is that a rare why does stardust overdrive have a equip spell it's like 5ds randomly had these weird like old school cards like uh gazelle the king of mythical beasts the chimera that's what it was that's like a rare in there it's really confusing i don't know what they're thinking printing those i guess in like main sets as rares like they should just be regular commons i would think i don't know very weird crimson crisis let's see if we can pull this the red dragon archfiend soul mode is our option for the ghost rare. let's see what we can get twin storm marauder morphtronic mix up Serious triangle. I've never pulled this, like this ghost rare and many of these other ones. So if you guys know, I want to pull every ghost rare ever made. So if that happens, it'd be amazing. So if we can pull any here, you can add to our tally. Mysterious triangle, seed cannon. We've got a Ruxin special descending lost star first of the day. Not bad. This is the, uh, the Catister, a sold mercenary. Cool. IV shackles. All right. Very, very scary there. Trap eater. Another speaking of scary. There he is. And we have a wall of thorns i think i need to do a three from the back on those wall of thorns reminds me of uh magic the gathering because all their walls they have okay anything we have an open tactical evolution yeah tactical evolution time unlimited but even if we pull a, you know the ghost right here unlimited it'd be pretty amazing i think i have a ghost right unlimited but it's a light play so i could use one these feel like they came out of those blisters where they're all slimy so we'll see if there's any damage on the foils that tends to happen with those uh flint missile we've got the uh, range gatekeeper of dark world the gift card this card's actually worth a lot i don't think it actually maybe it got a reprint but it was like a 15 dollars card for a while as a common it was insane chrysalis mole the goggle golem cocoon veil chrysalis pantel remember when we opened so much tactical evolution well, first of all, we got the ghost we opened like 100 packs of this it was amazing and then we have a snake deities command just a regular rare there nothing too crazy all right we're gonna save the ones like phantom darkness till we get down to where the other packs have the equal amount of packs 
Cyber Dark Impact is up next. We can still get Vanity's Fiend, Vanity's Ruler. Those are ultimates in retail packs too. So if this is a, a retail pack, we could pull one of those. That would be pretty amazing. Let's go. Queen's Bodyguard. Cyber Dark Impact, I think, is 2006. So it's over 15 years old at this point. Corruption Cell A, Blastus Modian, Chain Healing, Barrier Statue of the Heavens. Very nice. Straight Flush. I used this in a Duel Links tournament at one point, and I actually won it. So it was pretty cool. Stray's Modian. We have a Instant Fusion, pretty cool, and a Miraculous Rebirth. Very, very nice. All right. No foils. Okay, this is not looking great. Okay, the pull ratio is not looking so good. These are loose packs, so keep that in mind. Yeah, when you buy loose packs, it's like probably a good chance that they're scaled. So we're hoping that these are not. I think when we open some of the other ones, we got some pulls, so maybe we can... Uh, just maybe we're just missing them you know right now it hasn't been that many packs assault overload the nightwing sorceress metaphysical regeneration we got the vengeful servant half or nothing submarine frog blackwing bore the spear raptor wing strike and we have a arcane barrier just a barrier of arcaneness okay all right not too crazy there let's see if we can pull something though come on photon shockwave let's go let's pull a nice ghost hopefully we did not get scammed here that would be that would be pretty unfortunate we have the evil tile uh Gefiro. we got the champions vigilance the rabbit dragon cool creepy coney he's at it again no not the coney watt cancel the vanilla also pretty creepy if you think about it what's this flavor text this rabbit's got a sweet tooth he's on a quest for the world's sweetest carrot and just wants to nibble carrots all day tomorrow and the day after that pretty weird very high defense for something that just eats carrots you know what i'm saying the vol dual slasher senior silver ninja and copy knight oh that's what copy knight's from okay all right so uh at this point we are in quite a few packs we haven't pulled anything yet so hopefully we can turn that around here we just need a ghost rare and then we'll be happy if we go one for whatever one for 24 We'll be happy. I guess we're just going to go with like old school ratios. If we pull six foils, we'll be happy. Anything under, we'll probably not be happy. Venom Serpent, unless it's a big pull, then we'll be happy. Convert Contact, Volcanic Rat, Snake Whistle, Cocoon Party, Ritual Raven, Neospatian Marine Dolphin, Destructive Draw, very nice, and Ocean's Keeper. I don't... What is this card? We opened so much Tactical Evolution, I do not remember this card at all. Ocean's Keeper, okay. Weird, I don't remember that guy, but let's just keep going. Let's do the Unlimited one, then we'll get into the first editions. What shall we pull then? We have, let's do three, because just in case there's a foil. Attack Pheromones, Reptilian Gorgon, Earthbound Wave. We got the Spider Web, the Web of the Spider. Level Eater, there's a card. Synchro Barrier, Oshaleon. Dark Rabbit, a classic from Pegasus. And we have a quick draw synchron. A pretty cool card, but it's just a common. So we're still looking for our first foil. It's not looking too good in terms of uh, scalability here. Let's go into Phantom Darkness. Let's try this unlimited. Uh, dad unlimited. I'm down. Secret rare. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. An unlimited dad. <laughs> here we go. One, two, three. Let's just do three. I don't know what the, the deal is here. All out attacks. I've not opened a lot of Phantom Darkness. So this is a little bit interesting because i don't know these cards that well grim grimoire we've got the prison queen archfiend transmigration break the gladiators proving ground unleash your power wind effigy wow look at those corners uh oh that's not looking too nice oh and we've got our first foil and yeah we have a dinged corner unfortunately you bell super rare so black uh velocity that thing's a little beat up so we've got you bell you bell has a dinged corner unfortunately right out of the pack so our first foil is dinked the rest of it looks good but unfortunately that corner definitely got a little beat up but super rare i guess we got an lp U bell now but uh still pretty nice we actually got a foil i'm very happy to finally do that and phantom darkness is a cool one to pull out of U bell is actually pretty valuable so if it was near man it'd be even better but still pretty good cyber dark impact here we go let's see all right give us a little hope we actually pulled something from phantom darkness can we get something out of cyber dark impact because it's been a rough start what is this marked what is that? Okay, we gotta check that out later. That's like printed under the Konami. That's really weird. Okay, let's just, okay, let's do three. Four would be messed up. Chain healing, okay. Alien infiltrator. Alert queen level three. The instant fusion, nice card. Man beast of Ares. The accumulated fortune. Barry statue of the inferno. And vanity's fiend. Okay, pretty good rare. We will take that. Uh, now we gotta get back to this card. What is this? You guys see this? So it looks like there's a mark, a black mark through there, but it's under the Konami. So it had to have happened in printing. That's a weird error. I don't think I've seen that. That's strange. I don't know. It kind of looks like a, a, a Sharpie, but like 
that couldn't have happened because it's under the Konami. So that's a really strange card. Pretty cool. All right, so that's a weird error. So we've got one foil. We've got a weird error. Now we are hoping to pull, you know, something else because right now uh, it is not being great. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we have at least pulled a foil, which is nice. So let's do three here. Let's see if we can pull the Ghost Rare and turn it around. Morphtronic Rusty Engine. Let's go. We got the Super Soul Nutrient. Very nice. Assault Mode Activate. Assault Counter. Blackwing Sirocco the Dawn. We've got Ebon Arrow. Pretty nice. Trap Reactor Wi-Fi. If you ever need, you know, boost your signal. Flying Fortress Skyfire. A little bit of a shifted name up there. And then is there a foil after this? There is a Totem Dragon. We've got a super rare Totem Dragon. This is a classic card. If you started Duel Links and bought that uh, Dragon deck, you know, this counts as two tributes so for your Blue Eyes White Dragon. Pretty amazing. Because everybody's tributing for Blue Eyes White Dragon, Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what you do. Photon Shockwave, first edition. Okay, so we have now have two supers. It's time to step it up. Let's get something above a super, you know? Let's do it. Uh, that... Okay, that didn't work out so well. That, that pack just got decimated. Let's get something good. We have a Rabid Dragon. Creepy. Coney at it again. No, love all. Lance Lord. Naturia Maron. Evo Miracle. Ray Rider. Photon Lead. Copy Knight. And a Champion's Vigilance. Another classic Duel Links card. Tactical Evolution. I believe we can do this. What shall we pull? One, two, three, four. I think it's only a rare in here. So, well, not only a rare, but like a rare or a foil is what I mean for the pack trick. Rise of the Snake Deity, Dawn, Break Gardena, Cocoon Rebirth. These are so slimy. You can tell they came out of those blisters. Dark Effigy, Cocoon Party. They printed cards in the nastiest way in like 2007. It was with the uh, Champion Pack 4, Tactical Evolution, the Labyrinth of Nightmare reprint. They, they feel terrible. I'm glad they quit doing that. Neospatial Marine Dolphin. It's like they like dipped them in oil. Life Effigy, and we have a... Ah, Lucky Pied Piper Oil Central over here. Super, super oily. All right. Speaking of super, it's a super rare. So we now have three supers, so nothing too crazy, but we have not been shut out, which is always nice. On to first edition Stardust Overdrive. This is a big pack. You're very expensive, actually. Pretty valuable. Probably the most expensive pack we opened today. Can we pull that Ghost Rare Majestic Star Dragon? Let's go. Let's do three. These are not slimy, which is nice. We got Rotillian Medusa, Ocheleon, Insect Neglect, Level Eater added again. We got the Spider Egg. Very cool. Reptilian Silo. We are recording. I just want to make sure when we pull this Ghost Rare, we're recording. Spawn, Fortune Lady Earth, and we have a wolf in sheep's clothing just a regular common wah, wah, wah. that's okay now we have one of each pack left so we've got what eight packs something like that let's start off with cyberduck impact because as i said before probably the least exciting for me personally we got a few that we haven't opened yet like uh well we didn't open labyrinth the nightmare or raging battle so we got a couple of those one two three four for cyberduck impact let's go blast is modi and we got the chain healing Alien Infiltration. The counter cleaner. Last time it had an error on it. Let's see if it does this time. Nope. Okay. Vanity's Call. The Cyber Ogre. Mystical Wind Typhoon. Barry Statue of the Heavens. And Vanity's Ruler. Okay. This used to be like a $7 rare. And you got many reprints since then. So not as good. But still a pretty nice pull. We will take that. Now I want to go Raging Battle. We haven't opened this yet. So let's open this one. Raging battle. What shall we pull? Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? Will it be a ghost rare? One, two, three. I'm down for it to be a ghost rare. Phoenixian seed. Gadget arms. We got the Morphtronic scoping. Urgent synthesis. The Quackimaru. Doom. He's the doom. Alien dog. We got the attack of the cornered rat. Berserk king. And we have a Crimson fire. It also looks like a mirror force, like a uh, retrain. It's called Crimson fire. So I guess it's the fire hitting the mirror force. All right, next up, let's do Crimson crisis. Can we pull something above a super? I'm going to be a little upset. I mean, not upset, but just bummed if we don't get anything above a super. I'm like, man, that, that was not great. Uh, but that's just how it goes sometimes open in packs. We have the prevention star. Come on. Can we get, at least get an ultra? That'd be awesome. More secret. Protection, the Assault Counter, the so Super Solar Nutrient, Dupe Frog, nice, the Half or Nothing, Six Scroll to the Samurai, Hyper Synchron, and we have a... Oh my gosh. Another Totem Dragon! Woo! Okay, awesome. Totem Dragon, cool. All right, more Totems, more Supers. Okay, what do we want to do next? Let's do Labyrinth of Nightmare. Let's see if we can pull it. It also has this weird, like, purpley faded kind of thing. I don't know what's happening there. I think this probably came out of the blister as well with the tactical evolution. It definitely did. Super slimy, just like the uh, the Tav. Let's do this. Hysteric Fairy. We can we get a slimy LON uh, foil? Headless Knight, Lady Panther. We've got the 
Emperor's Holiday, Rex and Special at the Dream Sprite. They're so slimy, it's hard not to. Grave Robber's Retribution. We have a Gadget Soldier. Can we get something good? Come on. Spirit Message A. No! At least it wasn't the L. That would have been a lot worse. If it was the L, I would have been out. I'd have been out of here. Four packs to go. It's Photon Shockwave time. We just need one big pull to really salvage this opening. Because right now, not very good. I can't wait to see the total. Remember when I said we're doing a total here? Can't wait to see what it is. It's probably like $3. So, yeah, if you, if you feel bad for me, then uh, just give me a give me a comment down below. Man, hit the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. The Vylon O, the Zen Merrick. We got the uh, Ray Rider. A Corno. He's a Corno. Okay, that's kind of weird. One Day of Peace, Senior Silver Ninja, Photon Cerberus, and a pine kono okay pine kono cool awesome all right it comes down to these last three packs phantom darkness we're actually one for one on so let's do this let's see if we can pull a secret rare dad that would really turn this opening around i would feel so much better about it you know what i'm saying let's go we have the sea koala regenerating rose vengeful shinobi cybernetic zone cybernetic hidden technology the gladiator beast battle archfiend shield okay nice Mouthful there. Gemini Lancer. Dark Illusion. Wait, do we get a foil? No, we don't get a foil. It's in yes face. No! Darth Vader. Okay. Darth Vader was not happening with that one. Okay. Two packs to go. Tactical Evolution. This could have a Ghost or a Rainbow Dragon in it. What can we pull? One, two, three. I think it's four for this one. Will it be something good? We have Rise of the Snake Deity. Dawnbreak Gardena. Creature Seizure. Dark Effigy. Range Gatekeeper of Dark World. Cocoon Party. Ritual Raven, Neospatial Marine Dolphin, and here we go. What will it be? Ocean's Keeper. Okay, here's what's weird, though. This is waxy, and this is not very waxy. You see this? All these are waxy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are waxy cards. The rare, on the other hand, is not waxy, which is a little suspicious, actually. It makes me think that there's a potential for a reseal. The rares are usually out of these the same. They're also waxy. This is not waxy. This is a regular tactical evolution card. So that makes me think that this possibly could have been resealed. And I really don't know. Um, I, I mean, the guy I got him from probably didn't do it, um, but he may have got him from somebody that did, which is the problem when you buy loose packs. You don't know where they came from, really. You know the origin. The person who sells them to you may have not known the origin. That's why when I buy loose packs, I open them. I don't really like to resell because, like, there's a huge risk that they've been, you know, tampered with. And this uh, this just being in the pack, also a little scratched up there, which is a little little sus. It's not just packs having, like, there's, there's uh, vertical or horizontal scratches there. So, uh, to me, I would guess that that pack is resealed, pers personally, because this card doesn't match the rest of the pack, and the person who resealed probably doesn't know that there's an actually a difference between these kinds of packs. So there's your little lesson, like, if you're ever looking out for uh, reseals, you know, keep an eye on what the card texture's like, what the card's like, um, just part of it. So, let's just keep going. First edition, I would say that some of these potentially could be resealed, <laughs> the way that opens a little sketch, so... Uh, you know, we may have gotten uh, somewhat scammed in terms of this opening, but we're going to see what we can do here. Let's see if we can pull some, because we've only pulled supers so far. And a thing with resealers, it's like, okay, I'm going to reseal the pack. I'm going to put a super rare in there so it looks like they're legit, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, you know, most cards, most packs are not resealed. Keep that in mind, because a lot of people see something get resealed, and they're like, oh yeah, my packs must be resealed because I didn't pull anything good. You know, most of the time they're not. You just have bad luck. A stitching Dirge, which may be the case here. Attack Pheromones, got the Woodland Archer. Dark Spider. Gemini Spark, what are we going to get? Dijin release of the Rituals, will we get anything here? The Bending Destiny. Okay, so uh, 24 packs, we got four supers. Uh, definitely didn't feel great in terms of this opening. Um, that's just how it goes sometimes, though, when you're opening packs. That's why loose packs are a big risk, because it can happen. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you think I got scammed, or do you think I just had bad luck? Because this is like four and like three and twos of each pack. So, like, there's a strong chance I just, you know, got packs that were just not foil packs. There's a good chance there. But that, uh, that Tactical Evolution one really is what kind of convinced me that there might be something going on here. Because completely different card, at least in that specific pack, it doesn't fit with the other card. So, I don't know. Which, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tomefo Show, Anana Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.